It has been a year since Disney CEO Bob Iger raised concerns about the health of ESPN's subscriber base, sending shockwaves through that sector. Well, one year later, we're back in the thick of media earnings, and the TV business may be in better shape than many had expected. Julia Borston reports. With so many new ways to access content without paying for a traditional TV bundle, media giants still have concerns about the health of their core business. Concerns sparked when Disney talked about the pressures of cord cutting and skinny cable packages on ESPN. ESPN has experienced some modest sub-losses, though those have been less than reported by one of the prominent research firms. One year later, we're seeing media giants offer more content direct to consumers. But their core TV business doesn't look as bad as many feared. I think the fears were related to uh, cord cutting on the one hand and probably ad dollars going to, to digital platforms on the other. Um, neither of those two things really have materialized in a major way. Um, what has happened, though, is we've seen uh, a dramatic decline in live viewership. Take Discovery, whose stock shot higher after reporting better than expected earnings on the performance of its U.S. cable networks, also raising its earnings outlook. CEO David Zaslav saying he's focused on building content apps in Europe to sell to consumers outside the TV bundle. We've seen an explosion of options outside traditional TV. Skinny bundles from Dish's Sling TV and Verizon's Custom TV. Hulu's even working on its own live TV skinny bundle. Meanwhile, cord cutting is slowing to just a 0.8% rate in the first quarter. That's a third the rate of a year earlier, according to Moffat Nathanson. And things are looking even better in the second quarter. Comcast posted its best second quarter in a decade in terms of subscriber losses, and media giants over the top apps seem to be gaining traction. CBS saying its all access and Showtime OTT apps are ahead of schedule with 2 million subscribers. I think we'll see more offerings like that. Um, I think the the competitive environment for a network entering that, that market, the direct to consumer market, is extraordinarily tough. And Discovery, as well as CBS and NBC, have given a bullish outlook for advertising as higher upfront ad prices kick in and some of the advertising dollars that shifted to digital return to TV. Now all eyes will be on what Disney says when it reports earnings a week from today. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.